Good afternoon, witches, and welcome to another manifestation video. You guys love these, and to be honest with you, I really love them too. Building your dream life in the form of witchcraft and practical mindfulness is so cool and it's so important because we're all very capable of doing so, and it's so attainable that it hurts. I don't want you to be in pain, but this exercise definitely is going to be a little more heartstring provoking, and I had my fair share of that this morning when I woke up to journal. I know this probably sounds crazy, but I'm like almost like on the verge of like gagging about it. But just journaling just now made me feel like I was literally like throwing up a demon. <laughs> like the last thing that I just wrote because I'm struggling with like just like personal like whatever. It doesn't really, there's no context. It's just like whatever. The last thing that I just wrote felt like I was in like an abyss of like, gotta get it out, gotta get it out, gotta get it out. And like, I feel like I literally felt like it come out of me and I cannot even elaborate on that further. But like, I almost feel like throwing up, but like in a positive way, it's like disgusting. Like I cannot, like I full wholeheartedly think that if you need to meditate or do anything to calm yourself before doing this exercise, holy fuck, if you're able to journal and you're like good at journaling or if you're not good at journaling, there's there's no like good or bad. It's just sometimes people struggle with trying to pay attention to it. Holy shit, like I feel like I need to take a shower right now. I mean, I think I need to take a shower anyway, but like absolutely fucking bonkers, um, gross. Like I literally feel like the Holy Spirit is upon me. <laughs> As you've seen, the first step to the spell is meditating and whatever you feel your meditation can come from, it's journaling, if it's drawing, if it's doing some sort of arts and crafts, if it's going on a run, if it's going to the gym, anything that makes you hit that like meditative section of self. Okay, the proper term post meditation and relaxation is having high vibrations. So when you have high vibrations, the universe will give you high vibrations back. And that's kind of the entire goal of this video and this spell is that we are going to manifest to like our highest power. If you're down for that, then all you are going to need to live your dream life is a pen, a paper, your will to just think about things and believing that the universe will hand them to you. I haven't even told you why I am so focused on manifesting today. It is because today is February 22nd, so two, two, two. We love angel numbers here. We're trying our best to learn them, invoke them, see them often and find the ones that we might need on certain days where we actually need to use them. My relationship currently really started 22214. I'm gonna be one of those girls right now, okay? And I don't really care what you think of me, but here we are. If you times 14, like 2014, four times one is obviously four. What is fucking four divided by two, which is the other only number in 2014, it's too. The whole reason that I am hopped up about this is because I feel like I'm opening and closing and reopening like a portal of new beginnings and seeing the angel numbers 222 two, two, because each one of them is different and I could pop up like an infographic here if you want to see like 444, 555, etc. But 222 two, two in general is very reflective on relationships and romance and finding your soul's purpose. It almost sickens me to know that like this number is often associated with the moon and receiving multiple sources sources of income, but for singles it is considered as a sign of true love that they are coming or that a soulmate is near. You could take whichever parts that you want from angel numbers, but at the end of the day, whatever is aligning on like your path and whatever sign you may need to keep moving forward is like, oh, it's invigorating. Just a quick recap, before you start writing in your journal, make sure you have some candles lit, make sure you cleanse your space, make sure you have done the meditative portion of this spell. You're gonna start with a fresh piece of paper. If you want, you can use colors pens to kind of signify what you're searching for. I'm using pink just because we are still in February and February is such like a love month and it's a self-love and it's a healing and it's a eye-opening romance ritual type month and I always just feel very lovey-dovey the past few years during February which never used to happen to me. I used to feel really really cynical about it. It's, it's really enlightening because it's like the step before the coming of spring where you're feeling reborn again. So at the top of your paper if you want to write 222 or if you want to write February 22nd obviously Obviously by the time you guys are seeing this video it's going to be past February 22nd but that does not mean that you cannot perform this 
manifestation ritual. In this journal are going to be writing down our manifestations. But on top of these manifestations, we are also going to be writing down things we are currently grateful for. What we are going to do is disguise our current gratefulness with our future manifestations. I am going to be writing 22 things that I am grateful for. We are not coming up with 22 separate manifestations. We are coming up with 22 things that we currently right now are grateful for. And we have so much gratitude for. So I do have a video on gratitude journaling if you guys want to check that out. It's very helpful in the sense of trying to understand the vernacular that you're going to go into this exercise with. Gratitude journaling is sort of the art of thanking the universe in advance so they are aware of what you would like to attract. Before you actually write your list, I want while you're writing your list to listen to this. There's a bunch of them out there. They're on YouTube, they're on Spotify. 432HZ, Miracle Tone, Manifesting Tone. While you're writing your list, when you are listening to this, things kind of like opening the path for you to be able to accept these things from the universe. Helps you raise your positive vibrations. I'm not gonna read you guys my whole list, by the way, because I do wanna keep this semi-private in a way. I am grateful for Now for two, I think I am going to put here a manifestation. We are gonna start this the exact same way that we started the number one. I am so grateful for, or I am so honored that, or I am so happy with. Now I am going to take the rest of my 22 grateful list off camera. two things that I am grateful for. While I was listening to the frequency music, again, it is called 432HZ. It's just like a frequency sort of positive mantra radio. So the next step of this is to read your 22 list out loud. The kicker, you have to be playing the scenes of the what, the why, feelings, the emotion. We are basically gratitude journaling to the point of tears. We are gratitude journaling so we feel it in our bones, so it's tingling at our fingertips, so we really feel like this tangible thing we could just pluck it out of the sky boom lucky girl syndrome it comes true you might feel insane when you're done with this too but reading my list out loud while still playing the vibrational music oh my god i felt like i was in a movie you could say this or you could write it i'm gonna do both i'm gonna write at the end of my list thank you universe and so it is mote it be it feels so good. It feels so nice. It feels like an old friend that's here for like a nice warm welcoming hug. It makes it makes you sick. It makes you sick knowing that whenever you feel positive, it should always be like a reflection of really what you what you are because being anything other than positive and abundant and uplifting is just oh, it was such a drain to your soul. Oh my god, it's just get rid of it. Get rid of it. Listen, we cannot be perfect all the time. Nobody is. But in the same breath, oh, it's so nice. It's, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> keep this paper until you receive all of your manifestations and all of your gratefulness. Now I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please if you did make sure that you're subscribed. It would mean a lot to me of course but also in the same breath if you like these styles of videos I do post them often and I do have an entire playlist called witchery which you can binge watch after this. I'll see you guys in my next video and I hope all your dreams come true. <laughs> Bye! Mm -hmm.